been here for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters So I cry instead Hello everybody, welcome to our next episode. Um, today, we're starting our journey from Lock 8 along the River Thelma. So this is Rush's Lock. And after this 8th block, we've got 4 more to go, and then we'll be in Haybridge Basin. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We haven't long been awake and we're looking forward to this last little leg of our journey. Four more locks to go after this one. Yeah. Lock number eight, Rush's Lock. Beyond the lock can be seen the 13th century church of Alting, which was restored in 1873. It possesses a fine timber roof over the nave. Okay, we're just coming up to the village church of Alting. It's on the other side of the river. It's a first century church. And it's got a pretty impressive spire. Yeah, we'll grab a picture of them. They're so cute. Do you want to take a photograph of them? Staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. I've been asking every question. Cause I haven't got a clue. Has it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? The River Chalmer is very popular with fishermen with over 12 miles of canal including popular stretches at Ho Mill, Paper Mill Lock, Haybridge Tesco and Haybridge Basin. You are able to fish the entire length of the canal from the gas works at Browns Wharf Chelmsford all the way through to Haybridge Basin. The waterway is known to hold roach, big shoals of bream including fish of 12 pounds, tench, chub, perch, pike and carp to over 30 pounds. But most of the more remote stretches still remain largely unfished. coming up to now is lock number nine and that's home meal lock and I know there's so much more to this 
Lock number nine, Home Mill Lock. The lock is contained in an artificial cut which bypassed the mill that possessed two wheels and 12 pairs of stones. It worked until 1895 and was finally pulled down about 1914. 400 yards below the lock is Sugar Baker's Hole. This was the site in the early 1830s of Marriage Reed and Marriage's Beach Sugar Works, one of the earliest in the country. And just behind me there, I've got some swans. And we've got Yana just down there. She's taking some photographs. And we're gonna have a little rest. Well, it's beautiful and clear here. I actually read online that the River Chalmer along this stretch is some of the cleanest in the country. And look, you can see my feet shadows. Yeah, you can see your feet shadows. She's got her feet. Dangling over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've got some honey. And the swans in the background, yeah. Dearly. Cause I've been running circles, trying to catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can. We run away So let us up when we're low Just chase the waves We'll make it up as we go Okay, we're just coming up to lock number 10 Ricketts Lock Is it very deep? Going down quickly. Yeah. What about this? Yeah, we can put the bags there, yeah. I'm it by mine. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to be up here. Yeah, should we go and have a little look? <laughs> I'm gonna go over to him, okay? Let's go down. Anna and I are gonna walk across this lock.
Head back over the lock again, yeah? Yep. So our bags are on the other side. Yeah, they're over there. Right. Calling me a scaredy cat. So Ricketts Lock and Bridge. This is the tenth lock along the River Chalmer. This is another of the red brick bridges built in the 1790s. Just below the lock can be seen Langford Waterworks, which takes up to 35 million gallons of water daily from the navigation. If you're happy, I'll show you where to go Won't you stay free, behind the town for love we run away To get us up when we're low, oh Even if I lose my ground, I won't let it hold me down Yana and I are just coming up to our 11th lock, Beely Lock. And this particular area my, um, was a favourite. My granddad used to fish here yeah, all he the did. time. Yeah. yeah, it was his favourite location. He started fishing down here as a boy. And although he's not here anymore, this is this is the area where he would like his ashes to be placed. So we are planning to do that. Just have a quick look look around. It's a beautiful day today. It's not very windy. It's warm. Beautiful sky. Lock number 11, Beely Lock. The lock is contained in an artificial cut which joins together the Chalmer and Blackwater rivers to form the navigation. Beyond the lock, the excess of water from the Blackwater flows over the Long Weir into the tidal reach of the River Chalmer. At this point, the navigation enters the River Blackwater. Beely Bridge, which is just a little bit further up, was built in the 1790s and now takes traffic from Langford to Molden Golf Course. It was laid out in 1891. A good prospect of Molden can be obtained from here. Immediately beyond the bridge, the former Langford Canal, built in 1792, which served Langford Mill, goes off to the left. Its disused southern section can be seen, making its way across the golf course to the right. So the meeting of Blackwater and the um, Chalmer. The well, this is the Chalmer, this and that's here. the black water over there. Okay. So, is it a lot darker than black water? Yeah, maybe. No, no, fishing. Yes. Oh my god, look at that fountain thing. <laughs> look at it. Yeah, I'll have a look in a second. Okay, this is the. Um... Black River and the yes, uh, normal Yeah, this is the second meeting of the, two, of the next two rivers. Oh, so, yeah. here yeah. we've got the River Chalmer. Just over there, we've got the Blackwater, River Blackwater. And again, and the Blackwater continues along here. 
and the River Chelmer takes us along here. And where we don't want to go. Right. So we, we're following the, um, so from here onwards, Yana and I are going to be following the River Blackwater. And where does it take us? That way! Yeah, it takes us to our last lock. lock. Haybridge Sea Lock is our last lock. destination. Blackwater is a river in Essex, England. It rises at the River Pant in the northwest of the county, just east of Saffron Walden, and flows in a generally southeast direction to Bocking, near Braintree, via Great, Great Samford and Great Bardfield. At Bocking, it becomes the River Blackwater and veers east to flow past Bradwell Juxta, Coggershall. It then fears south, flowing past Kelverdon and Whittam, before reaching Malden. Fair, it veers east again and empties, empties into the Blackwater Estuary, which in turn meets the North Sea at Mersey Island. One of the most famous Viking battles in Britain, the Battle of Malden, took place directly beside the river in 995. Blackwater was a source of fish and oysters for the town of Malden. The remains of Saxon fish traps were discovered in the river in the 1990s. During the winter of 1776, the Blackwater froze from Malden to Lucy Islands. A distance some four miles, the ice trapped fishing and cargo carrying vessels and blocked any imports of coal oil, wool, to mould them. We can look down, cause that is how we lose. Get yourself out, it's time to break the rules. We make our way, turn what we say to memories. Hey, even if I lose my ground, I won't let it hold me down. Okay, Yana and I are just having a short break by the river. We're in Molden now, and there was a local Tesco, so I popped in there and, and grabbed a latte, and, and Yana's got Pokey Wokey. a Coke. So we're gonna have and a long So we're gonna have a long break because this is the direction we need to go. It's the last little bit of our journey. So we're gonna enjoy this rest and, and then finish the walk. Wow, that cup of coffee was amazing. It was my first cup of coffee. No, second. And my first one today. Oh yeah, you had one last night. I had one last night, but that was an, that was an ice cold coffee. That was cold. Cold one. <laughs> and I had a nice cold coke. Yeah, and Yana's having a coke, and you? Calling myself down, I'm sweating off. Oh, I can't believe we're in Molden. Me neither. I never walked something like this before. I've never walked this far either. So we walked from Chelmsford to Molden. We followed the river down. And we have that last little bit of journey to go and then to my, reach Haybridge Basin and We're going to go to this ocean yeah, and see. then our nanny's going to pick us up. Yep, and we're going to get picked up and then we're going to head back home again. Yeah, eventually. 
Okay, Yara and I actually got lost. We were on the wrong side of the river and as we walked down, it was a dead end. So we have to double back on ourselves just a little bit up to the next bridge so we can cross over. We can hear a road, so there must be a bridge coming up. Yeah, the bridge is there, yeah? Yeah. So we got over the bridge, we sat and the road. We really like this. So there's, there's a bridge, so we're going to see if we can climb, get on top, onto the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> so we found the bridge that we should have crossed. Well, I know where it was. And we've actually had to double back on ourselves. So that's where we were sitting earlier, having a cup of coffee, having a break, and we've had to double back on ourselves. So we've lost out. We've lost about ten minutes. Yeah. So not too bad. Not yeah, it could, it could be worse, couldn't it? We could have walked for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that one. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah. You know the bridge that's all the way down there? Yeah. Look. It's down there. Go all the way down there. Bridge. Is it? Yeah, look. But we can climb up and walk it. Yeah, I think we can probably climb up there. Yeah, Looks like people do. Yeah, there. Yeah, perfect. I Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got stuck. There's our sign for Haybrook Basin. And it's in extraction. Yep, yeah, we're on the right side of the river now. So here we go. I feel bad. Hmm. Oh, it's nice at the bridge. Oh, yeah, it's nice and cool. It's very hot. Oh, my God, look how deep it is. Yeah. Okay, we're just walking along the um, Blackwater, along the river Blackwater in Haybridge. Haybridge was first settled, well the settlement began to grow in 1790, which is when Yana and my ancestors first arrived here from Broomfield, Essex, just outside of Chelmsford. <laughs> is that seaweed sea? Yeah, we can smell the sea for the first time in no. two days. No, it's not the sea, you idiot. Seaweed? I can smell seaweed. Yeah, you said sea. You said F E E C. Yeah. Darling. Hmm. Your back's hot. Your back, back's hot, is it? You mean the shirt? Alright, that's it. Up. Yeah. So where's the seat? Over there? Yeah, yeah, we keep and walking the up. Come in this way. No, 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 it's oh. um this river is flowing out into the sea. Oh. Flows out into the estuary oh. and then out into the into the English Channel and North Sea. Really? Yeah. Is this a 
Yeah. Okay, Yana and I are just walking up our last stretch. So we're just walking through Haybridge, walking along the River Blackwater. Granddad, just, just at the end, yeah. The pub. So, mine and your. Half an hour walk. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about half an hour walk, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Haybridge began to grow around the year 1790, and that was when the canal was built. So, lots of people took advantage of this. to Haybridge. One of our ancestors owned one of the local pubs at the end. It used to be called the Chelmer Brig and now it's called the Old Ship. Some of our our Molden Haybridge ancestors were Bay's men so they used to work in, along Molden Bay. Many of them worked in the Iron Works. Molden Iron Works is quite famous used to own shops on the high street so we have quite a huge connection to the town okay we've just been told by somebody we just a gentleman we just passed that we've got about 10 minutes left till we reach the end We're just coming up to the end now. There's a pub just in the corner, which is the old ship. And that used to be the Chelmer Brig, which is the pub our ancestors used to own in the Victorian times. And we're gonna go and take a little look at the last of our locks. Huh? And then go and sit down. Last lock, lock number 12. Ready? This is Haybridge Sea Basin Lock. Well done, Yana. High, High five. five. Incredible journey. And just beyond there, with the Blackwater Estuary, which runs out into the, into the English Channel and North Sea. taking a much needed break and I'm going to pop into this amazing little pub Cheers everybody.